Right, so the entire vehicle has been down, it's been scotched. He's rubbed it to bare metal in quite a few places. So what he's done, he's gone proper OCD crazy uh, with the primer and he's reprimed the whole vehicle and now he's just etching it back up again. And any little points where you can see a line, he's just having another go. This is done with a DA and just finishing off by hand now with about a 120 or a 180 grit. 120. This is a 120, which with the military style paint, a good couple of coats will cover any scratches. If you're really, really keen, you know, you can go up to a, a 180 or even a little bit higher. But for this, I've always used 120s. So, usual thing, this is all taped up now. Uh, tape any areas that you don't want paint on. Nice crisp lines. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go through the paint that we've got on the car. Just to make boost today. Um, as you know, I used to do a lot of airbrushing and uh, custom paint and things like that. And we're at my mate's booth, he's been absolutely awesome with us. Um, he's, he's letting us do all, all the prep work and everything here and, and get it all painted. Uh, usually we can use the booth, but today we're just going to do it out with a wet floor. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to look totally different in about an hour. So we're going to do this, we're going to leave it overnight, let it all harden off, and then we'll come back tomorrow morning and see where we're at with it. But. Uh, He's also looking at doing, um, I think there's a lot of people that want to do their own Land Rovers. So he's just mentioned, I don't know whether he's going to go anywhere with it, but uh, where you can come down and pretty much have the tuition for the day and paint your own Land Rover basically. So that might be an option if uh, people are a little bit unsure to do it themselves. Because I noticed on the video where I painted my own Land Rover last time, a lot of people said that they had a bash and you know, it wasn't as hard as what they thought. So just an option there. So now it's all rubbed down, uh, everything's air blown off, so now we're going over the whole thing with some panel white and just getting any excess bits of grease where we've been touching it, any excess bits of dust, anything like that. So now the vehicle will be clean, we'll drop all the doors down and then we'll get started. While I'm mixing, I just want to say a big thanks to Fergus UK for uh, redesigning the logo for me. Uh, I'm a complete spaz with computers. Uh, told him what I wanted, he went through it, revised it a couple of times, got it absolutely perfect for me. He's doing it in every format that I need, so I couldn't ask for any better. I'll put a link to his channel down below if you want to have a look at that. So because we're not in the, uh, the booth today, because it's fully booked, we're in the workshop, so what we've done now, hosed off the entire floor, so any dust sticks to the floor, uh, and it doesn't end up going around in circles and getting everywhere and all the rest of it. Uh, we've got a bit of ventilation over here, so we'll just crack on now. We've mixed all the paint. So, time to test the gun, get masked up and go for it.
I don't like what I'm going to put it for. Yeah, here we go. trims, fittings, bits and pieces like that. Massive thanks to my mate Neil because uh, it all went wrong at one point and he just stepped over my shoulder, figured out what was wrong, took control and away we went again. So yeah, wait for Andy to turn up because it's early Sunday morning now. And uh, see what he thinks of it.